North Carolina, and Duke. Duke is a seven-point underdog at home. The total sits at 67. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time on the ACC network on this one. And my numbers say North Carolina to cover by, or not to cover, but North Carolina by about eight points, 7.78 points. And here is the reason why I think they will be able to take advantage of Duke. Duke does not run the ball a lot. Right, I say that. I mean, it's still 49% of the time. It's number 64 in the country. Their PPA per rush is number 20, and their uh, rushing success rate is number 12. But they're not exactly super explosive with it. You just have to continue going down the field and hope that they can score, they can get you know four or five yards every single time they run the football against North Carolina. On the other side, this offense for North Carolina, they have a massive advantage over Duke's defense. Uh, Duke's PPA per pass is number 103. Their passing success rate is number 88. Their passing explosiveness allowed is number 60. Uh, Josh Downs and that bunch are going to be able to get down the field. They will be able to take the top off of this defense. Um, looking at the trends on this, I didn't even go through the trends. Excuse me. North Carolina 4-0 and against the spread in their last four meetings against Duke. Uh, North Carolina 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five games overall. They are 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five games on the road. Uh, Duke, however, 1-8 and eight against the number against winning teams. That is not good. That is not good. And you just saw Duke get beat by Georgia Tech, so that ain't cool. Uh, I look at this, and yeah, Duke has got an advantage on field position, etc. I don't think it's necessarily going to matter. Uh, points per scoring opportunity... That goes toward North Carolina, uh, really, on both sides, uh, because Duke is only number 100 on offense in points per scoring opportunity. If if Duke cannot finish drives, this thing could get ugly quick. I I am going to roll with North Carolina here. I think that this should be closer to, you know, probably 10 points as opposed to the 7.78 that I've got it. And I think that Duke is going to come back down to earth a little bit once they go up against uh I'll, I'll say more talent, right? Because they haven't really played a team that's got the kind of talent that North Carolina's got. I think North Carolina could just out-athlete them. Duke's offense with Riley Leonard is still pretty good. They've got dudes, and and I like what Mike Elko's doing on defense, but he doesn't have the guys in the secondary yet to really be able to keep up with what Phil Longo's doing on the offense for North Carolina. So I'm going to take North Carolina to cover, even on the road, as a seven-point favorite. Um but that's that's the way that that goes. I, I just Duke isn't there yet. I like what they're doing, but they ain't quite there yet. I'll, I'll say that. So I, I expect North Carolina to be able to cover cover this pretty easily. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.